Hello heroes and villains, welcome to Multiverse. So when I made my House of Legends video, some of you guys noticed that I did not include our friend Shang Tzu. Probably mispronouncing that, but anyways. So basically this is our friend that is the pet vendor. I knew I was going to make this video, so I did not really talk about our friend Shang Tzu uh, way back when. But today is the day of days, today we will take a look at the pet vendor. Combat pets, different functions, different power levels, all depending on what you need. And if you have any trouble, I can provide additional support. So quite some time ago, we were promised that we would have an option to be able to upgrade our pets. And basically, there was this big revamp for the pets uh, some time ago. And sadly, it made uh, some of the pets, like uh, let's say the mother box or the father box, a lot of people farmed and farmed and farmed to be able to get their mother box and father box. And then it turned out that they were only tier 1 pets. And there were some tier 3 pets that were, well, even tier 2 pets that were a little bit better. So sadly, people felt a bit uh, foolish for getting the father box or the mother box, seeing how they were not very useful after all. Or we got a free gift like the Paradox Gazer. Uh, sadly, the Gazer was only for one character. The same for the Vampire Bat. So we were promised that at some point we would get the opportunity to be able to get more pets and to be able to upgrade them. Uh, technically, you don't really upgrade them in the sense that you don't upgrade the one pet. Uh, what you can do though is that you can unlock the ability to be able to purchase a higher, a higher tier version of the same pet. So if, for example, you have a tier 2 mother box. But in order to be able to purchase a tier 2 mother box, first you need 400 source marks, which uh, some of you will probably get a heart attack from that. But also, you must obtain all normal Moe's headlines from the Wonderverse episodes. So that's going to be, uh, let's say, a bit challenging for some people, I suppose. So in order to be able to get a Tier 2 pet, sadly, you will get to, require, to, to fulfill all the requirements in order to be able to do that. And then the same for the Tier 3 pets. So again, if we go to our Mother Box Tier 3, so you can get a Mother Box Tier 3. So if the Mother Box is your favorite pet, uh, you don't have to, to change for a Vampire Bat or, or anything else. You can still use the Mother Box but you will have to purchase the tier 3 version of the mother box. Uh, sadly, here you must obtain all normal and elite mode headlines from the Wonderverse episode. So getting the mother box tier 3 will be a tall order. Although we can purchase a Nightmare Bat tier 3 from the broker. So are we going to be able to purchase, uh, to sell and purchase the mother box tier 3 on the broker? So the people that are going to be able to farm to be able to purchase the mother box are going to be able to make a bit of cash by selling it on the broker. Um, I guess we'll have to wait and see for that. And the same for the turret. So we have the snake turret and the brainiac turret. And here we have the snake turret tier 2 and the snake turret tier 3. And the same for the ensorcel gem turret, the antimatter turret. So in theory, I assume all the pets will be on this vendor. And depending on the, which version you want to purchase, tier 1, tier 2, or tier 3, you may have to do a, a bit of farming to be able to get the requirement to purchase the pet that you want. So let us take a quick look at the Juvenile Phoenix. Ah, that is so cute. So you can have a little firebird that will uh, follow you around and fight in battle. It's a new pet that's been added. Uh, if I recall correctly, you're gonna have to play one of the Wonder Woman DLC to be able to get this pet. I'm just not sure which one just yet. And now let's take a look at the control star with tier 1. I made a video very recently with the control the star row, so I'll put a link to that video in the description down below. But here you can see what the, the star looks like, but in my video uh, you can actually see what it looks like in battle. Ah, he looks so cute. So he has some pretty cool animation, and unlike the Star Wars whistle, he does not say any lines, uh, sadly. And next we will take a look at the Atlantean Seahorse. Ah, look at the little seahorse. He's so cute. I'm not sure if I ever made a video with this one. I know I got it eons ago with the Atlantis DLC. But I have to admit, I can't remember if I did a video about it or not. If I did, I'll put a link in the description down below. 
And I have to admit, I wonder if we could get the Shang Tsung Spit at some point. Uh, I guess we'll have to wait and see for that. Ah, and he's gone. And next we will take a look at the Dark Construct Bat. Ah, it looks so cute. Now, way back when I was able to get the tier 2 version uh, from the broker. But then afterwards we got the Nightmare Bat, so sadly I replaced my low bat with the tier 3 Nightmare Bat. It made me very sad, but uh, sometimes you have to do what you have to do. And of course, if you are creating a Dawnbreaker character, uh, you need your little Dark Construct Bat. You need it, you, you have no choice. I'm pretty sure I made a video about this, specifically about that bat, so if you want to like uh, take a look at that video, I'll put the link in the description down below. And next we have the Nightmare Bat. So let's summon our little bat. Ah, it looks freaky. I was able to purchase, at least I purchased uh, quite a few on the broker uh, fairly recently. I purchased one for my Batman character, but I have to admit that uh, now I'll probably purchase uh, a Vampire Bat instead. I guess we'll have to wait and see for that. Ah, it looks so awesome. So sadly at some point it made uh, some of the older pet obsolete. And if you were able to get a tier 3 pet, it made pretty much every tier 2 or tier 1 pet obsolete. Uh, unless you're crazy like I am and uh, you're kind of a role player, then sometimes you would still use some of the less powerful pet. Like I used uh, the Mother Box uh, quite a bit. But uh, at some point when they did the, the pet revamp, you had no reason not to use the tier 3 pet as opposed to the tier 1 or tier 2 pets. But now you should be able to use any pet you like. So let's take a look at the Vampire Bat. So the Vampire Bat is a gift we got uh, for Batman Day, was it last year, two years ago? Uh, I kind of forget, I think it was last year. And at the time uh, I made the mistake of giving uh, the Vampire Bat to my multiverse character. And then I came to regret it, I, I wished I had given it to my Batman character. But now I'm going, to, I'm going to be able to correct that mistake, I will be able to purchase the Vampire Bat for my Batman character. Actually for a handful of other characters if I want to. I toyed with the idea of calling it Alfred, but uh, maybe not. And next we have the Paradox Gazer. Ah, I love this little guy. And this one was a gift we got uh, last January. It was a free gift we got for the 10th anniversary of DC Universe Online. And uh, sadly, like a lot of gifts, it was only one per account. The same with the Vampire Bat before. So it's always heartbreaking to give it to only one character, when you wish you could give it to multiple characters. But now, the problem is solved. We can purchase as many as we want from our friend Shang Tzu. Ah, he looks so happy when he whirls around like that. And now let's take a look at the Brainiac Drone. Uh, that's a pretty cool uh, looking pet. But uh, at the time I recall I had so many pets, uh, it's not one of those that I used uh, quite a lot. There was always another pet that I, I like to use a bit better. And even, uh, I would use the Mother Box before I used this pet. I, I kind of like the Mother Box much better. So even if the Mother Box was weaker than the Brainiac pet, I would have a tendency to go for the Mother Box. Uh, what can I say? And of course, you can see the traditional uh, three Brainiac eyes on the little drone. And of course, the father box. Ah, the father box. When we first got the father box and the mother box added to DC Universe Online, 
a question people kept on asking which is the strongest one the mother box or the father box and there's people who crunched it and numbers and people tried to decide and at the end of the day we were pretty much told by the devs that they were they were pretty much the same thing and now with the, the pet revamp they should be the same thing from what i understand all the tier one pets should be the same strength all the tier two pets should be the same strength and all the tier three pets should be the same strength so right now, if you're wondering which is more powerful, the father box or the mother box, it just depends on the tier. If you have a tier 1 mother box and a tier 3 father box, then obviously the tier 3 will be more powerful. And last but not least, the mother box. Ah, the mother box. I have to admit, once we got the mother box in this universe online, it made me very happy. I was a big fan of the fourth world comics and uh, the idea of having the mother box in the game uh, it pleases me uh, very greatly although uh, in the comics it wasn't literally a box uh, somehow uh, somehow way back when things could mean more than they literally meant but nowadays uh, people are being very very literal if you call something a mother box it better be in a box otherwise uh, it doesn't work with the name but way back when, you could have something called a mother box that wasn't literally a box. If anything, it was more like uh, shaped like a cell phone or anything else way back when. Which shows uh, the genius of uh, Jack Kirby already uh, way back when. Of course, our cell phones cannot open Boom Tube, at least uh, not yet. And there's also the turrets that we can uh, take a look at. So the first one is the snake turret. Uh, I have to admit, I got it in my multiverse character, and I, I can't remember where I got it from. But it's a nice enough uh, turret. Can't say I've used it very much though. There's always a, there's always something else that I like to use a bit better. So using the pet, using the, the snake turret, not something I did uh, quite a lot. And next we have the Brainiac turret. Uh, this one, I have to admit, I've used uh, quite a lot. I purchased uh, quite a few for uh, at least a handful of my characters, and at least a few of those were tier 3 turret. In some cases, uh, when I could not afford it, I would purchase a tier 1 or a tier 2 turret. But if I could afford the, the tier 3, uh, that is what I would purchase. Which sadly pretty much made all the other turrets obsolete at the time. And then we have the Ensorcelled Gem turret. Uh, that turret was simple enough to get. Uh, basically just playing the Legion Bounties, you could get it as a random drop. And uh, I got it quite a few, so it seems to be a not so rare drop. I was able to give it to a handful of my characters, and even then uh, I ended up with at least a couple that I'm not sure what to do with at this point. And the last one is the Antimatter turret. Uh, I, got, uh, I got the one from my multiverse from the anniversary event. It was a random drop. Uh, So it's a pretty cool looking turret that you can summon, although I have to admit, I did not use the one I have uh, very much. So there you go, so these are pretty much all the pets that our friend uh, Shang Tzu has. Combat pets, different functions, different power levels, all depending on what you need, and if you have any trouble, I can provide additional support. So the tier 1 pet will be 100 source marks. The tier 2 pet, 400 source marks, and obviously you have to fulfill the requirement. The tier 3 pet, 700 source marks, and again, you have to fulfill the requirement. And the snake, uh, for the turret, it's 100 source marks. For the tier 1, it's 400 source marks for the tier 2. And again, the requirement must obtain all normal mode headlines from the middle part 1 DLC. And for the tier 3 turrets, it's 700 source marks, and you have to fulfill the normal or elite headlines from the middle part one episode i wasn't sure why there was different types for the turrets but it would seem that uh, there's the area of effect turrets and there is the single target turrets so again for the gem and uh, the antimatter it's 100 source marks 
for the tier 2 it's 400 source marks and again you have to fulfill the requirements this time it's the long live the legion the headlines you need and for the, the tier 3 it's 700 source marks and you need the regular and elite version so there you go so if you ever need some pets come to the house of legends come see your friend uh, shang tzu and he'll be able to sell you some pets assuming that you do fulfill the requirements